Welcome to Deep Thought. How to manifest your desires. Now, the other day I already said you got to believe. You got to believe. But believing is just one part of it. Like you can believe. You can have a positive belief. You can say, yeah, I can make this happen. I can do it. All right. Or I believe it's going to happen. I can do it. I mean, it'll happen. But what you see is a lot of times people sincere I mean people sincerely believe it'll be successful. They believe it. But a weird thing happens with many folks. They don't do anything to actually make it happen. They sit there. There's people who will sit there, like I've known of people who will want a whole lot of money. And they'll say, and especially some people in uh, maybe some more new age type of communities or, you know, hardcore um uh, religious communities like a Christian community uh, something like that and they'll just say well I'm just going to pray you know I'm going to pray and it's going to happen alright you know they're going to pray for that mate and they believe it's going to happen they sitting there chilling you know or shoot sometimes it might, they might not be in a specific religious path they just might just have some wishful thinking yeah that mate's going to come that job's going to come and everything and they sitting there chilling. You know why? Yeah, it's one thing. I don't care what your spiritual path is. How much you pray, how much you uh, believe you're connected to your deity or feel it or whatever. You still got to do the work. So I'm going to tell you how to manifest whatever. Now, I talked previously about belief. Okay. But belief is just letting your subconscious know. When you sincerely believe, okay, well, I can take that. I got, I got everything in place. I can, I can do this for your subconscious thinking to itself. Okay, all right. You still, you still got to do a lot of stuff on your own. Now, the first thing is actually think about it. Okay, you got a plan. All right, you want to attract a mate. That's a common thing. You want to attract the right mate. All right, you need to think about how you actually going to do that. Not just, oh, I'm going to pray and someone's going to show up. Like, I've known many women, even some men who would do that. Oh, let me just pray, pray. Yeah, I'm going to pray. You know, yeah. Praying to Jesus, Allah. You know, Jehovah, Big Ron, Thanos, the Great Pumpkin, all of that. Just praying, praying. Doing long prayers, too. And still don't meet that mate. Okay. You first want to manifest that mate. Okay, fine. Then you got to th- you gotta think, okay, what steps I'm going to take? Now, realistically, okay, say it's a mate. Realistically, it's like, okay, let me change some stuff. I might have to make myself more attractive. <laughs> you know, I might have to go out more. So you, what you got to do is start thinking about it. Okay, what kind of plan? First, okay, do I need to go someplace different? Or if I'm looking for someone specific or they have specific beliefs or habits or something, where are they going to be at? If I want to meet women, if I'm a man, I want to meet women who are in great shape and like to work out. Okay, what gym are they at? And you got to sit down and think about it first. Think about, okay, how can I make this happen? What can I do? What steps? What kind of research are you doing? You know, I use the example of a mate, but it could be a job. Okay. You know how people pray for money. Oh, I wish, I, I believe that, you know, the great pumpkin is going to give me a million dollars. Well, yeah, the great pumpkin here say, all right, well, what you want to do to make that money? <laughs> you know, what are you doing? You know, like I know, uh, and this was in one of those more esoteric metaphysical communities, this, uh, Young lady wanted like about four thousand dollars, and a spiritual teacher in that community said, "Okay, so what path, what things you got going on that could possibly bring you four thousand? Like this woman didn't have, this young lady didn't have anything going on that could make her money. She thought money would just show up. It was like, and you know, spiritual teacher actually told her, it was like, uh, no, you had some business or something." <laughs> Hey, so people ain't gonna just hang you four thousand dollars, you know. Shoot, even with those people who uh, played lotteries and stuff, and they win the lottery, and they could say they prayed for it, but they probably bought probably a hundred thousand dollars worth of tickets in their lifetime to do it. So you still doing something, but 
you want to manifest something, okay, think about step by step. What do you need to do? You need, and regardless, you want that job, you want education, you, you know, maybe you want a bigger house in a beautiful neighborhood. Okay. You sit down and think about it and say, okay, first of all, can you afford a house in that neighborhood? All right, so you need to think about how you can make more money and everything. You know, you want a pretty good loan, so you need to think about how you can get your credit together. You know? You know, you need to think about <laughs> getting another job or something. You need to think about, shoot, whether you, like, can actually fit into that neighborhood. It's a lot of things, but whatever the case, you can't just say, oh, I want it. You got to think about everything, and then you got to do a step-by-step thing to get there, right? You got to think about it. And that, that goes into the second part of manifesting your desires. You do have to take action. That's the main thing. Okay, you got the ideas about it. You got a plan. All right. But that's just a little bit better than the person just sitting there. You got to take action. Okay, you got that plan. Okay, when you going to get started? Oh, what do you mean you wait? Okay, you got a plan. It looks good on paper. <laughs> you all right. You say, all right. You want that mate, you, you know. All right. Well, are you doing anything to make yourself look better or deal with any personality problems that have uh, messed up past relationships? Oh, okay. You still want that house or you want that job? All right, well, shoot, are you getting some training in that area? Shoot, are you actually looking? You pay, you hitting that pavement, like, looking for the job? You going by there? You trying to see what the hoopings are? You know? i give an example. I remember there was a time I needed to get a job. Now, notice I said a job. And, you know, back when this was happening, that's when people usually look in the paper or look for something. I was like, I can't wait for that. <laughs> wait for the newspaper or something to come in or get one, look at it, or even look at it online. Shoot, I got my ass out and I was hitting the pavement. I took action. And when I needed one, I ended up getting two jobs. Because I went right to the place. Both, both times I went in and said, do I have openings? They did. They didn't have any signs up or anything. I took action. I knew I needed some money I knew I needed a job so I said okay I need to go out I, well first it started with just needing more money so I said okay I'm gonna have to get a job you know I'm gonna have to get a job somewhere all right went hit the pavement boom got the jobs you know but I had to take action see that's the important thing remember see there's a lot of people who get on they you know sometimes they call it paralysis of analysis they can talk about it you know they you know, they can believe it'll happen. You know, they can have ideas, but you still got to take the steps. You have to take the steps. You have to get out. You got you, you got to make you got to make that desire happen. You know, and it really that's ultimately how you manifest. You got to take action. You know, the door doesn't ain't, ain't nothing and nothing in life is handed to you. Some people feel that way or some people might feel like, you know, let me use the mate thing because that, that is profound. Everybody has some experience with dealing with mates. And you get a lot of people, they want that beautiful mate, and but they feel like they, they don't have to change anything about themselves. Okay. Even then, you still got to take, you still got to have an idea how to go about it. So where are you going to meet these people? You got to think, think of a plan. Okay, how can I at least meet these people? All right, you done did that. Okay, you got to take action. You might have to go over to where they at. You know, and then <laughs> you pray if you can, you got to figure out, OK, what type of what type of people who are like that, who look like that, will want somebody who presents what I present. And you still got to take actions to go find where they are, you know. And, you know, like I said, apply that to business, uh, anything, getting a new home, anything. You know, you still got to you still got to do the work. You still got to take action. So you got to think of, you, well, I said in a previous podcast, you got to believe. Then you got to think about it. Think about a plan. Then you got to take action. It's that simple. It's not deep. It's not deep at all. And a lot of times when people actually give it, they have that belief, they actually think about it, put it into an idea, and then actually take some action. They maybe not, they come a lot close. I'll put it like that. Because there's so many other factors, but if you can do those basics, 
you can get a lot further than just sitting on your ass. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and many blessings.